Hey everybody and welcome back to RC Insiders. Today we're going to be doing a fun little project called making a solar pool heater for around a hundred bucks. So, you know, we live here in Michigan and the nights are getting cold and we're just not ready to close up the pool yet. So we wanted to uh, make a heater, but we didn't want to go and get a gas heater, electric heater, and all that stuff. So we are going to make one ourselves. This is a new project for us, so we're gonna learn together and see what we can do. So I'll show you everything that you're gonna need to do it. Um, I already have built the frame for it. So basically you're gonna start out with a four by eight sheet of plywood. You're going to want to get all pressure treated wood for your project because it is going to be outside. Um, after that, you're going to need at least four one by four by eight pieces of uh, pieces of wood here for your frame. All right. Um, going to need two 100 foot rolls of half inch poly tubing. You're also going to need these little dealies here to where we'll be able to connect these tubes to garden hose fittings. And don't worry guys, I'll leave a link down in the description to all this stuff and where you can get it. That way you're not wondering. Um, we are going to paint the inside of the frame black to draw heat. We're actually going to spiral that tubing around inside each side of the plywood. So you're going to need some little clamps to help you hold it down. You're going to need a drill, caulk gun. So I went ahead and caulked the inside of the base. Just anything we can do to help trap the heat inside. A uh, hammer, roller, something to keep your pain in. This is going to be real basic. So all I did is, oh, we got three quarter inch plywood, uh, and screwing into the one by fours basically just use inch and five eighths drywall screws. Anything to hold it in place. We're not going to be driving cars on it or nothing. We're just going to be putting the tubing on the inside, and then we're going to show you how we hook it up to water. So give me a second and I'll bust out the paint and we'll start painting. Alright guys, so make sure you got your crappy clothes on, <laughs> like I do. And remember we're not looking for perfection here, we're just going to paint the inside of it black to help us draw in some heat. You guys will need some, some type of paddle bits. Uh, anything to drill a hole because we're going to we'll run the tubing through this wood on each side. One inlet, one outlet. And then one hole in the middle to connect the two uh, tubes. So let's get this thing painted black so we can move along with our project. So we went with flat black because I was told that it will draw and retain heat better than glossy. So, so we're going to use flat. Remember guys, nothing perfect here, we're just getting it black to help us with the heat.
All right guys, so we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna head down to uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that, and we're gonna investigate some uh, some plexiglass or something that we're gonna cover it with. So when we get back, we'll start coiling the tubing on the inside, hooking up our water fittings. And then when we're all done, we'll seal off the top with either plexiglass or sheeting or something that'll really help us trap the heat in there because we really want it to get as hot as possible so one quart of paint seemed to cover just fine uh, there's still actually have a little bit left over if you wanted to paint the back or whatever you wanted to do uh, so a quick recap we got one four by eight sheet three quarter inch pressure treated plywood we took one on each side one on each end screwed it through the bottom into the bottom of the the one by four Remember guys, you don't have to be a carpenter, this ain't, doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to make some hot water, that's our only goal here. So, 4x8 sheet, you can run two 8 foot 1x4s on the sides. Uh, one extra, cut it in half. You'll have to trim a little bit on the ends to get it to fit in the middle. Run, a, run your drywall screws right through the bottom into the 1x4. Um, screw, screw your corners together, of course. Uh, you got one one by four exactly in the middle to separate it so we'll actually have a coil on each side all right we're gonna go we're gonna head over to the store grab some uh, whatever it is we decide to cover it with we'll let you know when we get back let this dry and uh, we'll see you shortly all right guys so we're back uh, don't have the plexiglass shut we're going to look around a little bit for that, so we're going to go ahead and start installing this tubing. So we're going to start with the paddle bit. So I got a three quarter inch paddle bit, and so basically the our tubing we're going to connect this coil to the coil that we're going to put on this side so I'm going to drill a hole right here to feed this tube through remember we're learning together. So we'll run this through here and that's going to give us a good starting point for this side of the coil. Fittings, 
So we've got these little guys here. Remember guys, I will leave a link down in the description so you don't have to search for all this stuff. But this fitting is just basically going to connect two of the, uh, the pieces of tube together. Okay, I will leave links down so don't forget. You'll be able to find everything we're looking for. So this one will go on here and then once we get our other tubing set on this side, we'll just hook them together like that. So that's a good starting point for that. So this... So at this point, I just want to start nailing this tubing down in place so it doesn't move around on us. Remember, it doesn't have to be pretty. They don't have to be super packed tight together. It doesn't really matter. All we're concerned about is that the water is running inside our little heat trap that we're making. Right? So where's my hammer? So these are basically just called shark bite clamps. They're half inch. So I hope you can see that. That'll snap around the tubing and it already has a nail in it. So all we got to do is nail it down in place. So let's go give one a try and see how it works. Nice and easy. So I want to end up with this tube being able to come out this way to another garden hose fitting. So we'll start working towards that goal. Get a bunch of these clamps over here. These clamps are just basically to keep this thing in place. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to make the coil inside here. Guys, if you have a helper, by all means, grab a helper. It will help a lot to have a helper. Kind of like in where that's at. That way, this this tube will come right out the back here. So I'm not sure if we need to put one on every loop, but since we have them, I'm going to do as many as we can. Alright guys, I'll get those nailed in and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for there. Um, just a couple more steps left, really. We should be able to start making some hot water. We're going to decide if we're going to get the plexiglass to go over the top of this. 
or if we're gonna opt for some kind of sheeting as the plexiglass is a little expensive. I was looking like for a four by eight sheet it was it was quite a bit. So we might just go with some clear plastic over the top of this. Again our you know our only thing we're really trying to accomplish is we are trying to trap as much heat inside as possible. But we definitely want the sun getting through. Um, everything's looking pretty neat. I mean, in theory, everything should work out good. Uh, recap again, one time. 4x8 sheet, pressure treated plywood. We framed it in with 1x4 pressure treated plywood. Put one divider in the middle. Just screwed it in there. Got one hundred foot coil on this section, one one hundred foot coil on this section. Took a three quarter inch paddle bit, drilled a hole, so we'll hook up a garden hose to this end. Garden hose fitting, which are these little guys right here. Goes right on the end of your plastic, your uh, tubing. And then garden, fit, garden hose fitting on one side, female, and then we'll have a male on the other end. Uh, basically just drill the hole in the divider, and then make a coupling just like this. So you can hook two pieces a half inch together. So that's where we made, for going from transition from one coil. So basically we'll have pool water coming in. Going through a hundred foot coil on this section, splice it together with this fitting, go through another 100 foot coil, everything's painted black, and this will be our outlet. We'll put one more garden hose fitting there and run a garden hose back into the pool. Alright, so there we go. Made pretty good progress today. Didn't have a lot of time, but we are almost there, guys. Should be up and running in no time. I'll get back on this when I get home from work. And we'll see if we can't finish it up tomorrow. Alright, guys, fun project, but I feel like uh, you guys can do it. I know anybody can do it. Hopefully we get some good hot water coming out of there and... We can make it through September at least. That'd be cool to be able to use a pool till October. But the pool water's already getting down to like 71, 70 degrees, and that's just too cold. So, all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. So these are the little fittings. Hook right up to your tubing. So we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how these work real quick. You just press them on good and firm and then these just tighten on the tubing nice and snug now you have a garden hose fitting and then we'll put the uh, put the mail on the other end and then we're gonna take this contraption out to the pool and do a little test run and see how everything flows make sure we don't have no leak and then we'll show you how to, uh, we're just going to put some plastic on top of it. Haven't decided which kind yet, but uh, one little other thing I did. I built these two little uh, stands for it. So what we'll do, is we'll just lay it on the stands so it has a little angle. So you can aim it towards the sun. We'll keep everything mobile just so we can move everything around when we want to. Um, Alright, we'll see you in a bit. We're going to haul this thing out to the pool, get it hooked up, see what we got to do out there. And we'll continue learning together how to make a, a solar pool heater water cover. Water heater. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got it out here. Uh, basically, we just ran a small piece of hose from the outlet of the heater. And just got it tied up into the pool. And right here what we did is I went and I got this small little, it's just a little pond pump or uh, something maybe you would find in your, uh, like an aquarium or something, they call water feature pump. It's a real small pump. 
it's got that hanging right there um, got that hose so it's basically gonna suck the hose out of the pool it's gonna push it through here we're gonna run it through 200 feet of tubing and then we're gonna push it right out there so we got everything hooked up so we're gonna plug it in right now and we're gonna see if it works right here in front of you just want to make sure there's no leaks and stuff we're on a little cord uh, show the outlet I'm gonna plug this in and see what it does So that's your outlet, nice and slow, it's spending, the water spending a lot of time inside. Uh, here's your fittings, we got no leaks anywhere from the out, outlets, this is where we tied them together. This is your inlet, so we have no leaks. All right, so our next step is going to be this clear plastic. So guys, here's my theory on this. You can get as elaborate or as simple as you want to. You can get some corrugated plastic and just fill in the gaps. Uh, we actually looked into plexiglass and a four by eight sheet was like a hundred bucks. So I'm not interested in spending that much money. Um, all we're really wanting to do here is allow some sunlight to come in but what we really want to do is trap the heat on the inside of our unit over here so we're going to cover that up i mean uh you know look for a sale do whatever it is you want to do but this doesn't have to be nothing special we just want to trap some heat in there but we also want to allow the sunshine to get in um, the reason we put it on the stands like that is as winter approaches the sun's naturally going to ride lower in the south so we wanted to be able to catch as much sunlight as we could wanted to make sure we left it mobile so what we're going to do right now is we are going to run some water through this thing and see what the temperature of the water is coming out uh, give me a second i'll go get a cup and we'll catch some of this water and see how hot the water is all right guys so what we're going to do so we're going to take a reading of the actual pool temperature right now and see what we get. And if you can see it or not, but the actual pool temperature right now is about 79 to 80 degrees. So I'm going to go plug this pool, our, our solar pool heater in, and then I'm going to catch some water in this cup and we're going to get a reading of that coming out. So what we got coming out of here. Which is the cup is actually very warm. Can you hold zoom in on that? I'm seeing about outgoing temperature of right around 118, 119. So almost a hundred, almost 120 degrees, the water's coming out, guys. That is freaking awesome. It'll actually burn your hand when you're touching it. So there we go. I think we're going to call that a success. Uh, pool temperature, water going in through the pump is right around 79 to 80 degrees. And the temperature of the water coming out is almost 120 degrees uh, the temperature outside today as we speak right now is about 76 77 degrees guys this is awesome this water is almost literally hot enough if i left my hand in there it burned my hand off so i am super excited about this we're going to run this every day 
Now, just like any other, uh, we'll call it alternative energy, this is most likely only going to work when it's warm out or when the sun's out. But a $30 cover for the pool helps to, you know, hold the hold the heat heat in overnight. Wow, that is hot, guys. That is amazing. I don't know if it works like this. Can we do this? Hundred and eighteen to hundred and twenty degrees water coming out. Nice slow trickle. We'll get the pump running to let this hot water go around. That is crazy how hot that is. I'm so super impressed with that. So if we want it, we can do a, a quick little rundown. Uh we'll do a little experiment too. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this thermometer in there and before I get this all bolted down I just wanna I'm gonna take this and I wanna cover this up and see how warm it gets inside. Alright, I'm not gonna screw it down quite yet. I'm just gonna do an experiment and see what kind of heat we're actually getting inside here. So we'll let it sit in here for about five minutes and see what that thermometer says. I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, we're gonna check this thermometer and see what we had on the inside. You can feel the heat inside. Between 130 and 140 degrees on the inside of the so and we've already we're it's getting late in the day so half of our sun is a half of our heater is already covered up so let's say 75 degrees 74 degrees um we had 140 degrees internal temperature inside of our our hot water solar heater for our pool um our initial water going out back into the pool was around 120 degrees now that half of our uh our solar heater is is blocked by shadow now the out, outgoing temperature has actually dropped down to about a hundred degrees so still pretty warm so basically through the heat of the day you should be putting out a hundred and a hundred and plus up to 120 degree uh, water with what we've made here so oh, if I could I'm gonna go over real quick one more time exactly what we did When we're done, I'll screw that all down and make it nice and tight. Try to trap as much heat as possible. So basically what we did, guys, is we started out with a piece of half-inch pressure-treated pressure treated plywood on the inside. It can be half-inch, three-quarter inch, uh, quarter inch. I was just comfortable with half-inch because it's pretty sturdy. It's strong. Uh, then we took one-by-four pressure-treated wood. Screw it in from the back side. Come around this way. Basically just took the one by four pressure treated wood, screwed it in like this. Boom, boom, boom. Of course you want to put a couple screws in your corners. Suck them in nice and tight. Okay, what do we do after that? I put one divider in here in the middle because what we had here was we got 200 feet of tubing I wasn't exactly how sure you know how much space that would occupy um, now looking back maybe we could fit an extra 100 feet in there I mean the more tubing the better obviously but on the other hand with the small pump we got I feel like 200 feet is plenty I think it'll if that's plenty so it's, we got a pump that's just big enough to push it through all this stuff. Um, what else we do? Okay, so we coiled up. We coiled up the tubing. We tucked these little alligator clips and we nailed it down to keep it in place. We took some caulking, ran it around the edges, and then we painted this thing black. So the purpose of going black with all these materials is because black does draw heat from the sun and that is our main goal here um, 
the principle behind this is the more time that the water spends inside these black tubes before being pushed back out into the pool, the better. Um, what do we do after that? So I built these little stands underneath. That was just to tilt it more towards the sun. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So basically what we created here was a, a do-it-yourself hot water pool heater or a hot water heater. You don't even have to use it for your pool. You could probably take a bath in it or <laughs> whatever you want to do. Wash your car when it gets, gets colder out. But guys, um, it's worth it. You know, the Midwest winters are super cold and they seem to take forever. If putting a little bit of time into this contraption gets me two more weeks in the pool that's awesome man if it gets me three more weeks in the pool even better heck if i'm out here in, at halloween <laughs> and still swimming because we you know invested a little time into building this then it, well worth it so what we're going to do now is we're going to put that piece of plastic over it we're going to get that screwed down uh, just go with something clear on the top the reasoning behind it. You want to let light in you also want to be able to uh, You know check on it see if there's any leaks You know anything like that. You don't want to you could cover it with something black But my theory is I want to be able to see if it's leaking inside and I want to be able to fix that as quickly as possible So any type of clear plastic. Yeah, plexiglass would probably be the way to go but it, it, it is going to add a, a substantial amount of money to the project. It'll add 100 bucks or so to it for a 4x8 sheet. Just any kind of plastic. Anything to trap some heat. And also allows the sunlight to, be, to beat down on these, uh, on these black tubes. Alright guys. Um, any kind of questions you got. Please just leave them down, down below. Just leave a comment. You know, we'll respond as soon as possible. Uh, all this material I, I will leave links in the description so you can get exactly what you need to complete this project um, the total working time on this if I had to put it all together you know it, it ended up taking us a week but that's going to work every day getting called away uh, rainy days you know whatever excuse you want to make but my total working time on this thing was about three hours nothing more it's not a huge project but it is a real fun project and when you're done and you see that you can create hot water just using the sun i mean it's it's awesome guys it's a pretty good feeling and like i said if it gets us a couple weeks in the pool i'm super stoked about it anybody who has a pool will understand anybody who lives in the midwest will get it or anywhere cold really you got a cold winter you can spend a few more days in the pool it's worth it all right guys don't forget uh, there will be links in the description i know one more time just check that description it'll leave you we'll leave links to show you where to get all this stuff exactly what you need so you don't have to worry about it plan on spending if you got a few hours to spend that's all it's going to take you just some black tubing some compression fittings to garden hose uh, we bought one extra garden hose just so we could cut and put different fittings on it. Um, other than that, guys, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I always say that. And uh, don't forget, coming up on September 29th, we got the drone giveaway. Uh, we'll leave the link below for you to enter into that if you want to. If you haven't already, if you have, you're already entered. You don't ever have to, you don't have to do it again. You're entered for life as long as you keep that email address. Uh, anybody who hasn't, just check out that description. Uh, there'll be a link there to sign up for our giveaways. Do it all the time, guys. Um, don't forget to hit that subscription button before you go. We always promise we'll do something fun. If it ain't RC, which it is mostly, it'll be something cool like this. Anything to uh, just to have some fun, guys. All right, um, we will see you next week and giveaway coming up soon. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you soon.